Bad. All right, just just lay it on me about your Pokemon Switch possible rumors, leaks, things. I don't know. I mean, if you've clicked on this video, because we're we're not the most premier guys on the internet when it comes to news, so you most likely know everything about this already. But basically, Pokemon Switch games, they're seemingly another set of remakes of Kanto, except it's more reimagined. It's set in the future. Kanto is supposedly different. It's supposedly Pokemon Go elements. You've heard all of this already. And yeah, I don't know what to think. But that's partially because I don't really care anymore, because I don't really care about Pokemon anymore. But that's another video. That's another rant. But yeah. You yeah. think you'd make that rant already, but whatever. No, the, the first Pokemon rant would be me going through why XY sucks. Oh, right. Yeah, but that's... You think you'd make that already? I should I should start that. But basically, yeah. I don't know. You, you, there's something specifically you wanted to start the video before saying, so... Well, the thing is, I was, I was saying that with all the flurry of stuff, I don't... Okay, it's not that I'm going around saying, Ugh, how could you believe in such a thing? Because I've, I've heard crazier. But it's more like I believe that not all of those things... Either, they're no, either there's a small amount of that that's actually correct, or there's like... It's either exaggerative in context. Because... It's not exactly that I'm opposed to, like, these themes. Well, I'm opposed to going back to Kanto, because I hate Kanto. But the thing is that I don't really have any problem with it. I just find it unlikely with how people are mapping it out. I mean, it, it'd be weird. It'd be, it'd be cool, possibly. It'd be weird. Now, see... People keep raving about... Well, raving is not good, the right word. People keep ranting about that. Um, but from what I hear, that's only like the catch rate has been like altered for that or something like that. Not the actual sy system. Now, if that's true, um, then so many people are getting their panties in a twist. For not reading between the lines of something that may or may not actually be there. The thing about these rumors, because I guess, yeah, yeah, you make a good point in that. The best thing to do to start off with is to talk about how we feel about the rumors. For me, the Smash Bros. rumors were equal parts. Oh wow, this ended up being nonsense. And oh, I guess Little Mac and Shulk really are in the game. And I remember being so adamant and like, Shulk looks exactly like Little Mac's position. He's not in the game. You're all stupid idiots. Stop falling for fake leaks and then it ended up being true i can't you know you know you say that i want to I, I forget for which event but there was this one event where like something was leaked or or like rumored and everyone's like okay no seriously there's no way that's happening stop talking about it it's impossible and so many videos are made out of it and then like two days later it was actually revealed to be real. <laughs> and so, so the moon was revealed like it? that two days before. People, people were like, this is nonsense. Oh, wow. Whoops. Well, no, I don't... What I think is that, that the logos like got trademark and everyone's like, okay, that could be... I don't think it was Sun and Moon that that, that that particularly bad response happened. I think it was something else, but I just can't remember it. The thing that, but more importantly than um, Smash Bros, is that the, the, the starters for Generation 7 leaked months in advance, and everyone thought they were fake, and I thought they were fake because they looked terrible. I mean, I. Uh, excuse me, the CGI is awesome? I, I, in game, I like them a lot more, but this, the, the, the drawings, I hated Incineroar, I hated. I just hated the drawings. The models do them a lot more justice. Which is what I think about a lot of Gen 7 Pokemon. That's another video for another time. Right, I'm talking about... Seriously, you have a lot to talk about and you just won't get to it. But that's, a, but that's another video for another time. <laughs> yeah, but basically, 
because of how early and I said this once it was once we realized that the not only the um the, the, the starters but something called the Chinese League which has leaked a lot of details about the, the game that ended up being true those two big Sun and Moon Leagues have changed Pokemon Pokemon pre-release hype forever because not anything has to be taken seriously because those were so unlikely and still ended up being true so now we and it was so far ahead so far ahead like months ahead so we kind of have to give these legitimacy because we've been i don't say we have to i say that we, that it would be stupid if we if we were adamant about not doing it yeah being 100 percent in any direction is silly but i think that it's, it, it makes sense especially since there's a clip it's a picture of, i don't know if it's ever debunked but that picture of Ken, that the picture that looked like Generation Sim, except people mapped it out as one of the Kanto roots. And I'm not sure if that was ever a debunked, but that's still been on the back of my mind. Which makes... That reminds me, just like, cer- cer- I mean, here's the thing. Certain things about games, because you, when you list this off, cer- of course it sounds ridiculous. But certain things about games really do work when you do put them in practice. Let me give you an example. Would anyone have believed Swole DDD was a thing if it didn't officially show up? Well, Kirby franchise, yes. Like, okay, I wouldn't say anyone, but would a lot of people? I doubt a lot. If it showed up, if it showed up in the same like drawing sort of possible leaks form, that's what I mean. If it showed up like that, I'm still going to say yes because. After Robobot, when people just that just dropped and the trailers going on and Kirby just jumped in a giant battle robot, everyone realized that with Kirby anything is possible. So yes, people would believe it. You know, in that case, if people would believe it, I'm not sure if people would have accept, accepted it so easily. Because th- what happens usually, there's almost like a cycle with Kirby. The first trailer comes out and everyone's like, ugh, this doesn't more of the same or whatever. Then like one new mechanic comes out again or something and everyone loses their minds. Similar to Pokemon in so, in some aspect actually. I disagree because Kirby is probably Nintendo's well well no Mario. But Nintendo okay. well, well, probably one no, of the no, no regard, regardless if Kirby is Nintendo's little baby right here. I'm does, not talking about does no wrong. The fans. The fans are like no one ever expects a Kirby game to be bad. That's true, but that's not what I mean. I mean that's usually when things come out. Everybody is everybody's like, oh man, but that looks like too much like this, or just like I wanted this back. I mean, I'm sure it'll be good, but ugh. And then when it actually gets, sh- when like one new gameplay thing shows up, or when it actually gets shown in gameplay, that's when everyone's like, best game ever. So that's why I'm saying for this kind of thing, even though the same doesn't apply because we know Game Freak's track record, um, well, recent track record. Um, because of that, I'd say that I wouldn't. That, that, that's like extra reason for me not to be dismissive about these ideas. But... Because... The, the, the only thing that missed me is that it had to be Kanto. Well, it obviously has to be Kanto. As in, they've, we've learned. And I think that Generation 7 is an eye-opener for a lot of people. Where all of the regional variants being Kanto only, that just made me realize that they really aren't going to let this go. So that's just an unfortunate, we have to accept that. And come because, since you already talked about what you thought, I should probably talk about what I thought about all of these rumors. Coming from someone... Yeah, you should. Yeah, kind of the point of the video. Coming from someone who does no, no longer cares about Pokemon. After... Generation 7, after Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I've lost all something that clicked in my mind and I feel no hype for the future of Pokemon. So when this dropped, I see so much people are super angry and sad and disappointed and I feel nothing. 
because I had no hype before, so I'm just like, I'm constantly prepared to be disappointed, which sounds too cynical. I'm assuming you're thinking, man, this cynic in your head, but it has worked for me because now I'm not disappointed in this deal. And if the game turns out to be good, that'd be a good pleasant surprise. And honestly, this is, this might sound weird. Because I do dislike all of the Kanto focus. I'm actually perfectly fine with going back to Kanto. In fact, I expected Game Freak to go back to Kanto instead of do Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Because uh, if, if Kanto was brought into the 21st century, changed and upgraded and reimagined, that would be good. No, see, that bit, let, me, let, me, let me cut you off right there. Um, that is exactly why I didn't want to go back. Because from from all the stuff with Game Freak um, right now, until I know this is a big Switch thing, and we don't know what it's going to look like or whatever. We're just like, we, we still don't know. But um, because of how the elements of Kanto being so boring, um, I said unless there was a massive overhaul, like the likes of which they'd just like never seen before, I would really not want to go back. Now, what from what's been said, it could be a massive overhaul. But my problem with Game Freak is that they never take they never take their good ideas far enough anymore. Because I have the sinking feeling that if it does go exactly like it's been printed out, as you as as it's been talked about, that they'll that there will be a whole bunch of new. Um, that there will be a whole bunch of new like stuff like littered everywhere. But they'll still keep a whole bunch of the old stuff, but for nostalgia's sake, it just... My, my it, it, guess... It, it's just, I, I don't believe it. it's going to be that good if that continues. If they made a new region, it would be... Not, not a new region, if they upgraded Kanto, it'd be like a black 2, white 2 kind of scenario, but executed like Ultra Stone and Ultra Moon. So I feel that they are going to change up the progression and all that stuff, but it won't feel that good. It will probably feel a bit too similar in points. Basically, the criticisms people have for Black 2 and Black 2, which I don't agree with, because I don't feel any part of Black 2 feels too similar to Black 1, but I feel that's probably going to be the case for this, because they can't help themselves. I mean, Black 2 is the pinnacle of the franchise. Everyone knows that. Well, everyone smart knows that. Everyone either chooses Black 2, Platinum or Heart Gold Soul Silver. And save your thoughts on Heart Gold Soul Silver for the aforementioned other video. For the, the aforementioned destruction of you in our Heart Gold Soul Silver debate. Yes, I will save my thoughts. Even if I'm destroyed there, most people still love those games, so who cares? And I will hate and I will hate them for it. Well actually I won't, because I'm not that kind of person. But still. But basically yeah, those those are the pinnacles, and I don't think Game Freak are going to reach those heights anymore because they learn they don't have to. So I'm not expecting the overhaul to be as significant because a lot of no. But here's the thing: the Switch is a huge seller thing. So if they, of course, many people already have it. So what if somehow in their brains they got holy crap? Okay, if we go the extra mile like we once did in our glory days then maybe this would sell even more switches and we'd get even more profit. I'm going to tell you why that won't happen. Okay. This is the thing I always think. People expect the upgrade in power to make them inspired to make the games better. But the upgrade in power from DS to 3DS didn't do that. So there's no reason to expect them to make this upgrade in power be different. I don't see the games getting any better. I just see... I did say that more, more so about power. It's basically because of what system... The Switch is almost seen like a savior system. Because the 3DS is like a legacy system at this point. Yeah, but the um, hotcakes and they still said, you know what, let's not try. Well, I'd say that for Sun and Moon they did try, even though they did, even though they didn't try their hardest. I can, I, for me, I think they did try, but um, and then once they got the hype back 
from that point because you know X and Y was just that bad. Um, just like once it got the hype back, like okay, let's okay, we've reached a point where we don't have to try anymore. I mean, yeah. The the, the thing is that I was I was saying that because I really need to get back to what I was saying is that basically I'm fine with the rematch in Kanto. I fine with them going hundreds of years in the future. I like lore and I like plot lines and I like timelines. I like knowing that everything fits together in a specific way, which is why I'm a huge Zelda type black guy. So I'm iffy about that big jump, but I'm already I already kind of don't care about Pokemon timeline because of the whole universe hopping and time travel and dimension jump nonsense, which what will kill kill any franchise if they don't know to be right. So I can't. Nonsense, you say, despite the fact that the upgrade of time splits it three ways due to its own nature of tra- time travel. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, yeah, I like this other timeline. Like, so it's hypocritical to say that. But basically, so I'm iffy about that, but I'm interested in seeing how they go. The thing about it, if it's hundreds of years in the future and Pokedex doesn't look that different, then that's kind of weird. That's going to be kind of weird, in my opinion. Like, Kanto, you know that is supposedly super far from Kanto, yet all of the Pokemon that migrate into Unova in Black 2 and White 2 are from regions we already know. There's no ch- chizies up from the Bargola region right next to Unova that migrates. It's all from Poke Japan. So the, the, the whole timeline and world is kind of iffy already. So that's something to just pretty much just accept and ignore. So that's whatever. The real... Well, okay, I want to say the real kicker, but yeah, the Pokemon Go stuff, I don't really care. Because like you said, it's probably just some encounter race thing. This is a nod to that. So yeah. Uh, now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't think I have any problem with anything that they've said so far. Except for the fact that I know it won't be that good. The thing is, when people said it's called Hey You Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, that made me think that it's not a main series game. It's like some Poke Park nonsense. Uh, first off, shut up. Poke Park is made out of dreams and love. The only issue with it is that it's way too kiddie. The thing is that if they, everyone expected mainline games, so it seems weird. If mainline games are moving to the Switch, it seems weird to start with a spin-off. And I think... Yeah, but everyone knows the normal game is coming, so why would they still get their panties in a twist? Because it seems like... The, th- the reason people are getting their panties in a twist, the reason some people are, is that they are disillusioned with the franchise. They want to like the games again. I want to like the games again. Yeah, so you wait. You wait because you know it's coming. There's no way it's not. For me, the, the, unlike me, who has perfectly accepted that things will be all downhill from there, they have hope. And so this is their them, their hope being dashed and like, oh shoot, is this the direction of the franchise? Because people think these are mainland games. I, I thought they were spin-offs, but people think they're mainland games. I'm probably going to close off if you have nothing else to say. I'm not sure if you have anything else to say. But I'm, I don't. I'll probably close off uh, a nice round 19 minutes over now. I'll probably close off by saying that what I think this might be, and this is out there, is that the Canto remake stuff, is I think that we're kind of mixing up two different games here. We're going to have one last 3 ds Pokemon game, and they're going to be the Kanto remakes. And then the Switch games are just going to be normal Pokemon games. The Switch game is going to be some spin-off console nonsense, and then the mainline Pokemon games are coming later. I honestly think that the the Kanto thing is going to be 3DS because they wouldn't make they wouldn't make a remake of Kanto be the first Switch game. But they would make a remake of Kanto be the last 3DS game. So that's my... Uh, didn't they specifically say that they're moving, that they're not going to do that? They, they specifically said that they're 
all they said, and this might be me being wrong, but I rem- all I remember them saying is Pokemon is moving to the Switch eventually. They never said we are done with BDS. They just said there are going to be Pokemon games on Switch. I am almost sure that they said that these are the last 3DS Pokemon games. Though I may be wrong. Well, I guess we'll see. I mean, I don't think... I did say it's out there. I don't think it's super likely. But I think that's my thoughts going forward. Because I was convinced... Before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, that we get a Kanto remake, and th- that screenshot and these rumors have kind of reignited that in me. I mean, I don't care because, like I said, I don't care about franchise anymore, and I'm repeating that too much. Man, you really love reiterating that. Yeah, yeah, I know you're thinking that in your head that I'm saying it too much, and I am. But I'm just saying that basically, it, it, I'm saying that to say that I have no stake in this conversation. I said there's nothing I hope or wish. Because I'm kind of neutral on everything right now, just seeing how things play out. But basically, you heard it here first, because no one else was dumb enough to think it. Yeah, I don't think they would hear this first. This so this type of video, at least from Mark channel in this format, sounds like a I want to hear a fifth opinion. Yeah, but I'm sure nobody else has said this is gonna be a 3DS title. No one, no one else. Yeah, but why you want me to put that as clickbait? Oh, <laughs> who knows? I mean, I'm sure you'll find the appropriate title. 